Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jason here. What you just heard in the beginning is a uh, a song I'm actually working on, but I decided to throw Audio Assault's brand new uh, Classic Series EX on there and just give you a little taste of what it sounds like. Um, here is the interface right when you pull it up. And I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. Now, apparently this is based off of three amps that they used to sell individually before, I believe. And I guess they revamped and put them all together in one plugin for $20 right now. So I think that's a killer, killer price. Um, so go over to Audio Salt and check them out. I'll put a link in the description to their website. Just go over there and, and check this out. Okay, so I've been playing around with this since last night. Uh, just messing with it, trying to get some good sounds and just see what it can do. I, I have noticed one glitch right off the bat. I'm going to show you right now over in the, inf in the uh, FX department here. Over at your graphic EQ, and, and I want to just note, this is not a big deal at all. Just something that I noticed. Um, when you're going to use your graphic EQ here, uh, if you drag one of these, if you click your mouse on it, I'll try to zoom in on this. When you go up and down, you can see the numbers are not moving. Uh, the actual EQ is moving, but the numbers are not moving to show you where you are at. Now, when you let go and you come back to it, then it will show you the number of where you're at. Now, I can click on it again and move it. And again, it still keeps that number. If you let go and go, then it changes. Now, the numbers, I believe they're supposed to move with this and they are not. And again, dude, this is a minor, I am not, I'm nitpicking here. This is really not a big deal because you can right click and all you have to do is type in whatever you want, number you want it to go to. And realistically, you don't even need the numbers to move it. Uh, this is just a little glitch. I noticed it is not a big deal at all whatsoever. Anyway, so we'll go back to the, uh, the amp here. This is Dominator. If you click on the bottom, you can scroll back and forth between your three amps. Um, and uh, as always, you've got your input level, output level, uh, you got your pedals, you got your gate, your boost, you can boost the lows or the highs, your uh, stomp box, tube screamer. Um, and now you've got your three different amps. Audio Salt has switched over to this uh, really nice cab section. You got It comes with three different really high quality cabs that you can mess around with. And on each amp, you've got your rhythm and lead channel. And let's just, we're going to mess around with this right out of the box and see what sounds we can get. And then I'm going to show you basically the signal chain that I got for the song that you heard in the beginning. <laughs> Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is come over here and turn the gate on uh, so we can get rid of some of that humming noise. Now, the one thing I noticed, the um, uh, even even at the last night, the Emperor does not have a whole lot of gain. And I don't know if it's supposed to, I, I assume that's how it's supposed to be. Just maybe a little bit lower gain amp. There's your Dominator. Bulldozer. And then you notice the Emperor, not as much gain. Now, you can't turn the gain up. Um, actually, I think it's on the... Is that on the lead channel? Uh, it's on the lead channel, so actually it's less. If you go here... That's on the rhythm right there. There's Bulldozer's on lead. Let's turn... Let's turn these all down to the rhythm. There's Dominator. So Emperor's set at... Um, default on rhythm is barely any gain. Now, I assume they did it on purpose, I guess.
All right, just messing around with it for just a couple of minutes there. Not a bad sound at all. The one thing I do like about this amp sim is the when you switch back and forth between these three, the settings stay on the amp that you were using. Um, they're not going to be the same. So if I go to Bulldog, everything's back at noon because we haven't messed with it. If I go back to Dominator, those settings are where I've been uh, messing with it. So it, it stays there. And that's really cool. You can switch back and forth. So let's go to Bulldog. We're going to, we're going to, okay. It does stay on this cab though. These cabs do, I want to say, let's, let's, so let's, let's do a little experiment here. We switch that orange cab. So the cabs do stay the same when you switch just the tone stack, I guess do not. So we're going to, I'm going to go back to this. This is my favorite cab in this amp sim is this one right here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but so we're going to go to Bulldog. <laughs> with this the same way let's see uh the pedals do also stay the same those do not change so i guess it, it's just the tone stacks that don't change which is really nice you can kind of keep those where your settings are Right, now here's Emperor. Uh, again, not sure why there's hardly any gain on this, but we can switch the lead here. One thing I just noticed, Dominator seems to be a little bit of a more smoother distortion, and Bulldog is a little bit more of like just a nasty freaking distortion on here. Let's switch back and forth. I'll show you on some chugs. I don't know, my ears, I can definitely hear Bulldog's got just this more, this like nasty crunch uh, distortion. Uh, again, uh, to each his own, it's your personal preference. Uh, that's why it's kind of cool to have these three amps in here. Uh, you can just mix and mess around. Now, uh, as you can tell right off the bat, guys, uh, one thing I have been doing with these is basically just knocking down the depth and the bass and the mids on all of these. Um, the the only gripe I have with Audio Assault's amp sims is they're very mid-rangey and boxy. Some people may like that. I don't. Um, I do like to take that out. It does not mean these are bad. That's just my my honest review. Audio Assault's uh, RVXX amp sim that was probably my favorite one by them. I absolutely love that. No gripes. Uh, it's just a little too mid-rangey and boxy. Uh, fairly easy to take that out. Uh, they probably leave it in there because some guys nowadays the modern sounds. Uh, they use a lot of mids. I'm not big on the mid-range. So 
Again, my that's my only gripe. Does not mean that there is anything wrong with the amp sim at all. If you don't like it, you can get rid of it. But uh, other than that, um, I've hardly messed with this at all and got a pretty decent sound. Spend a couple of hours, you'll really dial this in and get a killer freaking sound on these. Now, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the song that was in the beginning and let's and I'm gonna show you a little detail work of what I did. Okay, with the song I did, uh, the signal chain on the guitars, here's just the guitars with Bulldozer. And let's switch it to Dominator. And let me show you what I have going on with the signal chain. So what I have on the, the rhythm, uh, your, your right and left, is I'm using the uh, classic EX amp sim. Um, I am also using Audio Assault Impulse Loader and an EQ. Uh, let me see if I can... There's my EQ on there. High pass, low pass. Quite a bit of a drop in the mid areas and low mids trying to get rid of the boxiness. Um, you're, you know, a lot of, it's just a basic standard EQ. Um, as far as the impulse loader goes, let me see if I can get this bigger. I am not, I, I bypassed all the cabs or impulse response on uh, audio salts on this classic EX, and I am using Auto 11's impulse responses, using three of them. There's a Mesa uh, 57, there's a Warrior, and a, uh, a combination mic on a different uh, cab pack, but these are all Auto 11 impulse responses combined with Audio Assault's new um, uh, amp sim here. And I think it sounds freaking killer. And here it is again in the mix. So this song I've been working on for a while, but as far as this nice new amp sim from Audio Assault, I just bought this last night. I've only, I just put this on my song. I've been messing around with it for a little bit last night and this morning, and that's what I came up with. And I, you know, I've been messing with it for a couple of hours. That's it. Um, I'm sure I can dial this in even better. And I want to show you one more little comparison here. What I have done is I've ran this neck and neck with the RVXX, because the RVXX is my favorite impulse, or I'm sorry, amp sim by Audio Assault. Next in line is probably this new one, this classic series. This sounds freaking amazing. So we're going to run them neck and neck. I've used, I've used the exact same impulse responses and the EQ, but all I've done is tweak the amps a little bit. So you guys just heard, we'll do a real quick on the, the, the new one, the classic series. Now we're going to do the RVXX. Very, very similar, a very slight difference. It's the same thing if you also play this um, with the class. With I can pull these both up. Where is the other one here? And if you switch back and forth between these, uh, the Dominator and the Bulldozer, just a slight little difference. Yeah, so you can hear, uh, you know, a slight difference. Uh, the Dominator is a little bit more mid-rangey. The Bulldog's definitely a little bit more scooped. So it's they neither one, in my opinion, sounds better than the other. It's just what you like better. And the RVXX uh, is a contender. I mean, all like <laughs> it's just, you know, you could spend days and weeks just tweaking with this stuff. And believe me, I have, and it'll drive you mad, in a good way. But. Um, no, guys, this, this sounds awesome. Definitely, definitely go pick it up. It's 20 bucks and you get three amps on there. I didn't really mess around with the Emperor too much. Uh, not really crazy about the Emperor. That might be better for more just like low crunch or clean tone. Not too sure. All right, guys, that's the video. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of this new 
uh, Ampsim Classic EX by Audio Salt. Go pick it up, guys. What do you got to lose? That's 20 bucks. It's awesome. Highly recommend Audio Salt. And if you guys um, don't know, which you probably should, uh, I highly recommend Audio Salt's Bass Amp Sim. Uh, Duality EX. They up, this is, they've actually updated this, I think, a few months ago. This is the best sounding Bass Amp Sim I've ever used. Uh, just throwing that out there, guys. Audio Salt, in my opinion, has the best bang for the buck. I, I can't say that they have the best Amp Sims, but for the price, they are the best, in my opinion. Best bang for the buck. But that's the video, guys. Metal till death. Stay metal out there, guys. Appreciate you guys watching this video, and stay tuned for more. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments section. Let me know what you think. If you guys have picked this up, uh, you know, send me some links to your videos. If you have some on YouTube, let me hear your tones, your sounds, and, and we'll compare. So let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.